Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Janaya. Nice to meet you if you're new. I'm back again with another Vlogmas video. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a hair review for this Platinum 613 hair. I'm going to put all the hair specs down below, as always along with a discount code if you want to purchase this here is from your local wigs and it came in a 613 but i dyed it ash blonde and dyed the roots and i will have a video on how i did that also this is not going to be a detailed install tutorial because like i said in my last week video i'm not the greatest i'm still learning tips and tricks so as i go i will tell y'all what i know but if you want to watch me say this wig, then keep watching. So I got this wig from Yalova Hair Company. They sent me a 613 Body Wave wig. It's not the original wig that they were going to send. So I don't know the length, but I will make sure to link all of the specs down below. It came in a nice box, which keeps the wig protected. It came with an elastic band, which is really thick. Some lashes, a tweezer, and a wig cap. It also came with this nice satin dust bag, which is great for storing your wigs after. This is the wig in its natural state. I'm going to dye it ash blonde and then I'm going to make the roots dark and I'm going to have a whole video on that next. It comes with the four combs and the band that adjusts the wig to be tight to your head. But I took out all three of the combs. All four. So I'm starting off with my wig cap, quote unquote. <laughs> yeah, I know I saw, I don't even know whose video, but I saw somebody using a pantyhose. And I was like, wow, this is going to be so much easier than using a wig cap. So I decided to use a pantyhose and it just melts better to your scalp like i think it's just so seamless i'm using this got to be gel to push my hair back just so that the glue doesn't get into my edges I really had a lot of patience with this wig install this time. Like I really, really took my time. I even had a timer on. So this I left for like 10 minutes. So I took some got to be and I put it at the end of the comb and tried to make the rest of the cap stick down more. And I used a liquid concealer this time instead of a powder because I was trying to avoid the white cast. As you can see, I still got that white cast. I don't know what it is. I guess it's just normal. I don't know. Y'all let me know. I, would like to get to know could be. I actually really, 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 really bodied this color. I'm not even going to front. I bodied it. It looks so good. It's the perfect ash blonde. As y'all can see, I over bleached. Don't mind that. I'm going to fix it. The reason why I got over bleached, y'all could go watch the <laughs> hair dyeing video to see why I got over bleached, actually. Because I'm not trying to get into that. Everybody coming in, hey, we ready to ready to go. 
I felt like the lace was a little white, so I added on more lace tint. And it was a little white. It still was a little white, even with the lace tint, but it's okay, because I fixed it. Right here, I'm just cleaning off my edges for the alcohol. And then I put four layers of the glue. And I should have put three because when I was trying to take off my ginger wig, it was taking way too long. It was not ready. And I like my wigs off in three to four days. Yeah, I know this part look crazy, but I'm going to fix it. Just wait. Just wait on it. Like I said, I really took my time. I blow dried every single process and although you see it in like fast motion, I literally blow dry for about 20 minutes. <laughs> So I tried to correct the white lace by putting a dark foundation. It helped a little bit, but it still was white. So I just was like, you know what? Let's keep it how it is and just keep going. So now I'm about to fix up this part because it's looking crazy. I used a dark brown semi-permanent dye. You can use any brand, honestly, and use a little spoolie and kind of like comb the dye into the part. Makes it look more natural that way. You could also use that spray, but I feel like the spray be making it the line look too straight.
Okay, so right here, I'm just going to attempt to do the baby hairs. And the rest of the video is pretty much self-explanatory. I hope y'all enjoyed and I'll see y'all in my next one. The lace is like the lace is just, just throwing me off so I'm gonna play with it see you know what I can make shape cuz I usually can make something shape the baby is ain't nothing I'm gonna do my makeup see how I like it feel me so yeah I'll be back thank you so much for watching this video really hope you liked it some of my cons it's really sheddy, but obviously it's 613 here, so you know it's going to shed. But pros, it is really, 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 really soft. Like, so soft. And I just love that. I love soft hair. I think it's just a blessing to have soft hair because some hair is so hard and crispy. And I like the fact that I processed it so much and it's still soft. I over bleached the knot so I kind of have to do a little constructive stuff to the to the part as you guys saw in the end of the video. I'm loving this color for the winter. It's very icy, very wintery, very it gives, you know, icy. It gives winter, it gives cute and stylish. And I did my makeup so extra with diamonds and stuff, but that's going to be in my get ready with me. If you haven't already, go check out that video that was vlogmas episode five if you guys like these big videos let me know below thank you so much to yellow here for collaborating with me on this video if you haven't already make sure you subscribe like and comment and i'll see you guys in my next video